Well, scientists say they figured out the absolute oldest age humans could live to. They peg it at around 150. So how did they come up with that number? And what would our quality of life be at such an advanced age? Jennifer Williams got some answers from the experts. The important thing to understand is that this is a study um, that's based on modeling um, of a concept that's really um, uh, key and, and interesting in geriatrics, which has to do with resilience. And resilience, or our ability to recover, declines over time. In a study recently published in Nature Communications, researchers found how well we bounce back from stressors determines our life expectancy. If you're living in a stress-free environment and all you have is that pace of aging, at what point does it go to zero so that you can't respond to or bounce back from anything? The slightest little perturbation from your baseline would kill you. Um, and, and what they estimated was that that happens at some point between 120 and 150 years. Well, that's pretty safe since the longest lived person in the world made it to 122. Um, the bottom line message is don't expect anyone alive today to live to 150. The study modeled two very simple data points counting red blood cells and physical activity. According to Dr. Heather Whitson, the director of the Duke University Aging Center, the study ultimately seeks to find ways to slow the aging process. There are some big studies going on right now asking if there are medications um, that could be used that might slow the pace of aging. Um, the other one that across multiple species has has seemed to slow the pace of aging is caloric restriction. Um, that's not something that a lot of humans want to do. <laughs> Jay Olshansky, a professor in the School of Public Health at the University of Chicago, adds that ultimately the focus needs to be on the quality of one's life, not the length. We smoke cigarettes, we drink excessively, we, we, you know, we become sedentary. Those are the things that shorten life. Once you adopted all of those healthy lifestyles, then it's diet and exercise. Those are the two key things uh, that work today. Jennifer Williams, Fox 5 News.